Hi Aqua, Aqua gang, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your next 48. I'm so sorry that it's coming out late, guys. That sale kicked my ass, okay? <laughs> so it's coming out late, but I'm making sure to start you guys off the beginning of the week. And then this week, um, just in case you're interested, we are gonna have the shorter readings this week. So your reading will come out again this week for sure, okay? That's a promise. All right, so quick disclaimer, I do have my hookah here, so just keep in mind, okay? You might be surprised if you don't, you know, whatever. If you're surprised, don't be, because the hookah is here, and it's here to stay, okay? I found, like, the perfect flavor mix that works for me, and it's just so yummy. So, hookah is here, okay? All right, so let's get it. Let's get started. My lovely, lovely Aquas. Aqua gang, how are you guys? Happy New Year, by the way. Your birthday season is coming up, by the way, okay? So interesting, okay? Some of you guys are preparing for your birthday. Some of you guys actually aren't preparing for your birthday. So some of you guys are, then there's another half of Aquarians who aren't. Not really, like, it's like it's another day or it's another year. It's not really a special birthday for you, but you're going to end up doing something very special, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on for the next 48 hours for my Aquas, my Aquaman, Aqua Woman. What's going on with my aquas, please? What's going on with my aquas for the next 48 hours? You know, someone, I remember, it, this was like, I wasn't going to say anything, but it's been bothering me in my head. So one time I did um, a Aquarius video and I said Aquaman, Aquawoman. And I made a joke about y'all being mermaids. And one of y'all Aquariuses really got upset with that. And they were like, we're not water signs or air signs. But I always see the star card, the woman who is the water bearer. I see that as you, Aqua, but I also see her as a mermaid. Like, you know how Ariel, <laughs> let's go back to Disney real quick. You know how Ariel left um, sea to dwell the land and she could breathe, you know, like, okay, whatever. But it is bothering me right now, but you guys are my mermaid. So get with it or get lost, okay? <laughs> All right, the moon card is here. Also, being the water bearer, you can carry your emotions, but you don't wear it on your sleeve. So there's something about that happening in the next 48 hours. Okay, moon card is here. So you're feeling sad about something or you're feeling very a, a deep emotion towards something, but it's like it's hidden. Okay, it's very hazy or you're not really showing it on the face. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, but um, something's going to stop you in your tracks as well. Also, be careful on the highway. Be careful, be careful on the highway. Be careful on the road because I see someone like stopping. Okay, you ever been in a car and like someone is has to slow down, but they're also not paying attention in front of you. So they put their brakes on at the last minute and then you may have to swerve out the way so that you don't hit them or you're going to brake super hard. Maybe you have your kids in the back seat. you know, be very careful. Keep your eyes peered. I would recommend keeping a safe distance when driving. Okay, so some people are like ass to ass drivers. Okay, some people like to kiss ass. They be this close when they're driving. I'm the type of driver who has this kind of distance, but this will also save you this this week. So be careful. You don't want to tear up your car. And even if you don't tear up your car, I see you like really like um, burning out your tires. The way that someone's stopping with this Knight of Pentacles, like it's a hard stop. All right, what else is here? You'll be okay though, Aqua. You guys can see, you know, ahead. So you'll be fine. All right, what else is here? Okay, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so you're not taking something serious, but it's also really like um, either you're not taking someone something serious or you're maybe there's someone around you who's not taking something serious. Whoever's not taking this matter seriously is really stopping something. It's stopping your motivation or stopping your money or I feel like you're not able to work because of this. Okay, what's on the bottom here? Yeah, King of Cups. So Aquarius, you know, whenever I get the King of Cups, Queen of Cups in your um, energy, I know it's an emotional reading because you're not the type to wear your heart on your sleeve, right? All right, so before we get into this, let me just hook up, okay? All right, moon card, please. Moon card, moon card, moon card. All right, so eight of wands, okay. Okay, so either you really want to communicate with someone, but you're holding back from this. Someone could also really want to communicate with you. They're holding back. You can see right through it. 
I also feel like there's a Pisces or a Cancer that really wants to communicate. They're going to reach out. Looks like there's some communication here. Okay, what's going on with this Eight of Wands? This could also be travels too. Um, like wherever you live, very foggy wherever you live. So when you're traveling, either on a plane, you ever been on a plane and like, you know, you can't see anything because like those clouds are kind of doing their thing. Or this could be like even in a car, you're traveling, is very foggy. So like I said, be careful, okay? Be very careful. Even if you've been driving for years, you've probably been driving for more years than I have, but still be careful. All right, so what's the Eight of Wands? Page of Wands, interesting. So whoever's reaching out to you, you're actually happy to hear from this person, okay? This could also be a younger, if you have a, child, a child, this could be a young fire sign reaching out to you, like, hey daddy, hey mommy, when can I come see you? Or something like that. Or this is a cancer, like you're happy to hear from this cancer. What else is here? You have the Hierophant in reverse, interesting. So either you haven't been speaking to this person in a long time and like you guys usually do. Cause the Hierophant is like, um, it gives me, um, what's that word? It starts with a C. It's like when someone abides to something, to the law or to the word, cause the Hierophant can be church, it can be, you know, it can also be an institution, it could be school, but someone, you and, you and someone have a routine, but what's the word I'm trying to look for? I don't know, it starts with a C, but it's like conformity. So <laughs> you and someone usually conform to a, a certain set of rules about speaking and communicating with each other. That hasn't happened in a while, so you're gonna be happy to hear from this person. Yeah, it's been a while, the Nine of Wands, it's been a while. So someone's reaching out to you, okay? You don't know how to feel about this person reaching out to you. Why do you feel this way? Why does Aqua feel this way towards this person? What's up with that? Let me turn this elevator music down. I try to get us lit, but maybe I need to change because I'm I'm in I'm not in this kind of mood. I'm really not in this kind of mood. Hold on. That's better. Okay. All right, Five of Pentacles. So someone's kind of left you out on the cold, left your messages on red, or like every time you try to come check on this person or see about them, they just kind of like left you, like someone wasn't being cohesive with you. Like, I don't know. I feel like someone has just kind of been like making you play the backfield or something. And it started to affect you with the Five of Pentacles is here. You've been good. You've been good and I also feel like other people want to be in your space or your area, but you and this person have like an unspoken agreement to always reach out to each other and check up on each other. It's been really bothering you. What's the Five of Pentacles doing here? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So if this is not you, um, Aquarius, this is how someone feels about you, okay? Page of Pentacles, but someone's reaching out to, and they're also promising to keep in contact more often, Okay. Could be an Aries. We have the um, Emperor here and also Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, like I said. Also could be a, um Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Also, I was getting Cancer, Piscean energy. Okay. What's the page of Wands? Um, eight of Wands before we move on. Ten of Swords in reverse. So you and this person will speak about what hurts you or what hurt them and you guys will move past this. Okay, so that's good. But then something is also stopping you in your tracks. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. What is that about? Emperor, okay? Interesting. If you're a business owner, Aquarius, it, it seems like as if your finances, um, like maybe something has stopped, money has stopped coming in like abruptly for some reason. Maybe you also took a couple ways, a couple, not a couple ways, a couple days off of work. So this is why and you're like, oh no, I got to get back on the ball. But also too, you're not, you're not in no rush. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Now, if this is um, a commitment, like maybe this is like some a friend or like a, a lover, it's kind of like with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Something came to an abrupt stop with this Aries, the Emperor, but you're no, you're like you're not taking it seriously. Page of Pentacles in reverse, or they're not taking it seriously. Okay, so what is this? I'm also getting fed up. So mm, I don't know, magician. Yeah, so definitely could be an Aries or a Virgo. Okay, but someone. Okay, something stop stop. Something stopped either because you stopped putting action behind it. So if this is work, you just literally stop working. You need a break. You want to just have fun and do you for a couple of days. If this is a relationship, it's like um, someone stopped putting action behind coming towards you. This Aries or... Six of Cups. But you, got, you and this person are coming back together. But it's like, hmm, 
I don't know what this is. So I feel like you and someone are coming back together, Six of Cups, okay? But you're also, if this person wasn't putting action behind the relationship or the situation, the friendship, you're also doing the same. It's like, yeah, we can reunite, but I'm not going to come. Like, okay, I feel like you and someone used to operate on a very, like, scheduled energy, especially with this emperor being here. I don't know if that's you or this Aries or whoever this is. You and someone used to really operate and things would be cohesive. You knew the routine every day. It was kind of like the same thing every day. It could have got really boring, but you actually could sleep at night with this routine because you knew that you would see this person on a certain day or, you know, you reach, you call them in the morning. It feels good. Like, I feel like something was boring, but it, it was, it made sense. And I also feel like um, it, it let you sleep at night peacefully. But someone's, recently someone stopped putting action behind something, the magician in reverse, and it kind of messed up the schedule. So now that this person is not conforming, you're not either. So I feel like two people are dealing with each other and it's like, okay, you're not doing this and I'm not going to do it either. But you guys are reuniting. So now the routine or the schedule is all fucked up. What's the six of cups? <laughs> What's going on with the six of cups? All right, we have the mm, we have the seven of swords showing itself. So someone could be really sneaky too. So for example, like I said, say someone called you at lunch. They know you take lunch at this time. They call you at lunch. Someone wasn't doing that. And it's like, okay, why aren't you doing that? So you could either feel like you don't trust this person or you feel like they were doing something sneaky, okay? Queen of Pentacles is here as well. So it looks like, okay, okay, interesting. So whoever is the more responsible one in the relationship or the situation looks like the person who's the lesser is coming towards the more responsible one, but the more responsible one has now lost responsibility because the page of pentacles in reverse. So you could be the more responsible one in the past, Aqua. Now you're just like, I'm on your time. What's this page of pentacles in reverse? Okay, five of swords, okay? And it definitely could be a, a fire sign. I have Aries Leo Sag with this king of wands here. Sorry, not five of swords, five of wands. I'm so sorry. Five of wands. Until this... It's like you're getting back at this person, you know? You're like, okay, you did this to me. You don't think I could do it back? Also, you may believe in discipline. You know, there's different ways to discipline people or your children, right? <laughs> Hopefully, you're not disciplining a person. But you know, with your children, there's different parenting styles, per se. Like, maybe somebody going to get a, a whooping or somebody, okay, like, hmm, should I share this story? I don't know. In family dynamics, it could be weird, but I'll just say this, right? I wasn't being, I wasn't checking in with a family member, like how we and them used, were supposed to. And in return, my family member did that to me. And it was the worst feeling of life, okay? So I'll just share that. Um, it was the worst feeling of life, but it taught me, okay, be a better family member <laughs> and this was like when I was young but it, it taught me at a young age like okay you got to do better you got to treat people with respect so I feel like you're doing something back onto someone to show them how it feels okay but the two of cups is here so you and this person have no um you guys have no um no urge to leave the relationship or leave the friendship or leave the family dynamic it just is what it is but they're going to learn today what's the five of wands please all right, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so this is you. You're being very defensive. You're also being very intelligent. Like, you're like, okay, you thought this over and you're like, okay, you know, me speaking to this person is not going to do anything. Like, this person is kind of headstrong. I'm going to have to just show them what it feels like and then they'll learn. What's the outcome of this? Judgment card, okay? So I feel like you and this person will forgive each other. Y'all ain't going nowhere. You and this person are used to this kind of, not used to this. I feel like... This is fairly new because I feel like you guys usually run on a set schedule or something. Even if this is your job, you're showing them like, okay, you need to be professional because I feel like you're taking a couple days off of work too. And it's like, okay, I want you to be professional or something. If you work for yourself, maybe you have clients and it's like, okay, you're showing a client. I'm not always available. You can't just book with me out of the blue. Maybe you had formed a really friendship relationship with a client and they've been abusing that. It's like they'll hit you up at the last minute and say, hey, you have an opening or can I come by? And it's like, you're tired of that. Can we, I'm a business. Now, if it's not your job or your business, it's definitely a relationship here. You're showing somebody that. But you and this person aren't going anywhere, the Eight of Swords. The reason to get this person back, per se, is not for you guys to separate. It's more so to teach someone a lesson, okay? All right, so let's get your last words, Aqua. 
Very interesting. Oh, hold on, guys. I don't have no room for my um, notebook on here. I do, but it's just too cluttered and I can't work like that. So I have to write your title on my computer. Hold on one second. Okay, perfect. Perfect though. All right, let's go ahead and get your last words. The air smells so good from my hookah. Like this is the perfect blend, guys. You guys have no idea, okay? All right, let's see. Last words for Aqua, please. Last words for Aqua. Last words for my Aquas. Last words for my Aquas, please. In this situation, last words for my Aqua gang. Gang, gang, gang. All right, let's see. Summer. Could be dealing with the summer, baby. That would be, I think, Cancer, End of Cancer, Leo, Libra, Virgo. I don't know. Something significant could have happened last summer between you and this person. And you're like, I'm not doing a repeat of that. Or summer will be very significant for you and this person, okay? Um, we have, I have no plans on changing. Yeah, so maybe someone in the situation is very like emperor energy. I have no plans on changing. I don't feel like I need to change. So you have to show them that you, you need to show them like they can't be that way. We have, I'm single. So maybe you even told someone I'm single. But between me and you, Aqua, I feel like... You could be standing in your truth about that, but also you you don't have plans on walking away from this person, at least not now, okay? All right, let's see. Not interested, yeah. <laughs> Why are you acting like that, Aqua? Okay, all right, we have Taurus. Are you dealing with the Tauren? Okay, cool. All right, what else is here? Stalker vibes, okay? Who is stalking who? Who's watching someone very closely in this situation? Bisexual, this has been coming out a lot in your reading. So definitely some of you guys watching are in are bisexual or the person you're dealing with could be bisexual. I regret what I did is here, okay? So you're gonna make someone regret what they did or this is you. We have tired of the drama, okay? We also have March Pisces or Aries here. We have October, Libra, or Scorpio. Something could have happened in March or it's going to happen in March. Something could have happened last October. It's going to happen in October. Okay. All right, guys. So now we're about to get into your homeboy, homegirl. All right, Spirit. Give me some messages, please, for Aqua's homeboy, homegirl. Give me some messages, please, for Aqua's homeboy, homegirl for the next 40 hours, please. Empress. Okay. Taurus energy. Libra energy as well with the Empress being here. Someone's acting very spoiled, okay? That's what I'm getting to. Okay, Page of Pentacles as well, but they're gonna do more of effort. So you're the Page of Pentacles in reverse. This person is the Page of Pentacles. So I guess you are teaching someone to listen. I don't know. What else is here? In reverse, this person is the Knight of Swords, okay? So talking to this person right now, I also feel like whatever this person says right now is not how they really feel, but they are saying stuff out of anger, okay? Just to say, I don't know. Also, the Knight of Wands in reverse is on the bottom of the deck, so you're not even giving this person sex at this time, Aquarius. Okay, you're not you're not screwing this person. You held back completely. All right, let's see what's going on here for you. Hold on, guys. I gotta show my um, Rhodochrosite. Is that how you say that? I don't even know. Rhodochrosite, Rhodochrosite necklace. This is not yet released. I'm still working on these guys, but I love it. I love it. Okay. All right, let's see. What's the Empress? What's the Empress doing here? Two of Cups, okay. So someone is a little bit more spoiled in the relationship, Aquarius. You could also have a hand in doing this, okay? You could have also spoiled this person. That's why they act like that. So someone needs to get off their high horse, especially with that Knight of Wands in reverse. But I feel like the Two of Cups, you and this person are still going to be together. You guys will work things out. Somebody just needs to be more considerate, okay? What else is here? Who's... Who's, hmm, definitely we don't want the Aries because I think Aries last reading was, um, this person's testing you. So I don't know. 
Okay, we're gonna have to see. The moon card is here. Cancer, Pisces energy. Someone also, so you and this person don't communicate your emotions very much, okay? I don't think you guys are detached from one another, okay? Even though that's your MO, Aquarius, I don't feel that way. I feel like you and this person have really deep feelings for each other, but y'all don't express it, okay? So what's this moon card for this person? I'm curious. Page of Wands, okay? So someone definitely is a fire sign here or has fire really heavily in their chart. The way that someone communicates can be very passionate, but sometimes very immature sometimes, okay? And I feel like that's when they're expressing their feelings. So someone just doesn't know how to really open up that much, which you should know about that. It's like, that's not a problem. I don't even think the emotions is the problem. I feel like it's someone's like consistency or their actions. What's the Two of Cups? Excuse me for my nose running right now. All right, Eight of Swords is here in reverse. So somebody wants to release the emotional burden when it comes to you, but they don't want to release you. Like they feel awful right now. They feel they don't like the feeling that they have when it comes towards you. And they feel like you guys making up would subside that. Like they'll be able to move forward, okay? But they don't, I don't know. I feel like you're just not taking things seriously right now when it comes to the person. What's the Page of Pentacles? Ten of Wands, okay? So somebody's willing to, okay. So somebody's like, okay, this is kind of funny. Let me show you guys this. Excuse my nose, I'm sorry. All right, so remember I said someone's the Empress. So someone is a little spoiled. They're used to getting things their way, okay? Could be for their looks or just their um, prominence in their community, okay, whatever. All right, so we have here the Page of Pentacles. So somebody's like, okay, I'm gonna do right. I'm gonna start doing right. But you know, the Page of Pentacles is like, it's energy, but it's like the first steps. But someone feels like the first steps is a lot of work. The Ten of Wands. <laughs> it could be day one of this person trying to do things maybe your way. And they're like, oh, this is a lot of work. <laughs> okay, I understand. Okay, what's the Page of Pentacles? I understand, babe. What's the Page of Pentacles? They're like, this is too much. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. Okay. You know, this is, I can understand why this is hard for this person. They give up very easily when it comes to relationships. I feel like this person's family dynamic is not the best. And they feel like a lot of people aren't worth putting that energy in because of they've been disappointed so much in the past with the five of pentacles. But they're trying. This person does want to be with you for one. So they're trying, okay? But I do feel like wherever this person's background, past relationships, family relationships, friendships, it's like they don't really see giving too much maybe they've been disappointed in the past maybe they used to do that and they stopped why do they feel like it's so hard what's the ten of wands knight of swords they're looking for a more quick comeback okay somebody's like okay if, if i want you you want me let's just get back together or if i want you you want me let's just forgive each other and move on but i feel like they're trying to t um, prove a point with this person what's the five of pentacles doing here yeah, like I said, Five of Cups, disappointments in the past for the Five of Pentacles. Someone has been disappointed a lot in the past. They don't do too much with people these days because they learn to be that way. They learn to be more, um, they learn to be more to themselves, not give too much of themselves. So they're like, oh, this is too hard. What's the Knight of Swords in reverse for this person? The lovers. This person too, when they try to express their love for you or how they're feeling about this relationship, they tend to um, put their foot in their mouth, Okay. They tend to, they tend to say the wrong things. Why? Seven of Wands is a defense mechanism. Okay, so it's kind of like someone acts without thinking. A lot of times they tend, they tend to say things that's very hurtful, but it's because it's a defense mechanism. The Seven of Wands. What else? Damn. Okay. Oh. Ace of Cups is here. Okay, but the truth is, this person really loves you, and they're not going anywhere. Aquarius. Anything else before we get to the last words? Nine of Wands in reverse, okay? So also too, like maybe if you told this person like we just need a break or let's just stay away for a minute or if they told you this because they were upset, like I don't want to see you, I will I'll, we'll reach out like in two weeks, give, give me a break. They're not going to stick to that break. They'll be coming back because of the love, okay? All right, so I got to hurry up and end this reading because my nose is running, okay? 
So I'm going to do the extended, of course. We're going to see what the outcome is going to be, their next actions towards you, their feelings, all that jazz. We're going to go deeper into this message. If you want to follow me there, the link will be in the description box. All right, so let's get this person's last words, okay? <laughs> all right, let's go. All right, last words, please, last words, please. Why is friends with benefits playing right now? So did you and this person start off as friends? Then benefits, then a relationship. Okay. All right, let's see. What's the last words, please? What's the last words for my Aquarius? <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, there we go. That's all we're going to do. Tired of the drama. This person's tired of the drama too, Aquarius, okay? Could be an August Leo or a Virgo. Something significant could happen this August or happen last August. Movie night, Netflix, and chill, okay? You and this person might have that this week, okay? Excuse my nose. We have celebrity status. So, like I said, somebody has some kind of prominence in their community, and it makes them a little bit spoiled, okay? They regret what they did. Not letting you go, okay? I love the way you dress. Nice. Juggling partners, interesting. So remember when I said like maybe you and someone have a, a set routine and it's like they weren't adhering to that. So maybe they were being sneaky, maybe they were seeing someone. Maybe someone really did do that. Pushing you away. So this person will push you away at first, but then they'll try to come back. We have intimidated. They could be intimidated by you as well. Maybe the way you're acting is something that they have never seen before. Interesting. All right, guys, we're going to take this to the extended. I love you so much, Aquarius. If this resonated, please thumbs up the reading. Comment a moon down below for June Tarot. Subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. If you want to shop my store, if you want to book a personal reading, if you want to follow my Instagram where I do readings for you guys, I think I might actually do one today. So you might want to follow that. All those links are in the description box down below. Also subscribe to my second channel. It's called Dream Free. I'm going to be posting a community project I just did um, with my family actually yesterday. I'm going to edit it tonight. It'll be out tomorrow. So you don't want to miss that because I would love to share that with you guys. It made me feel so good about just starting 2022. I gave back to um, a lot of people and I just want to share that with you guys. So I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys this week in your short reading coming out soon. All right. Bye-bye.